found a tube, and the minute I opened it, the smell transported me through time. This one's wife. She lied to my daughter. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. It's a little while since we've heard from members of the Markle clan. You recall some time ago that there was, I think it was in Australia, a television programme where they went to see Thomas Markle Sr., Thomas Markle Jr. and Samantha Markle and got them all together and had a barbecue. And of course, mention was made of this one's wife and the fact that she's not bothered with them for years. Despite the fact that her father has been experiencing health issues, this woman, with no emotional empathy, of course, has not bothered with him, remaining estranged because, quite simply, she is disengaged from him because he no longer served a purpose and indeed was problematic by virtue of, in essence, threatening her control as a consequence of some of his behaviours. Similarly, the half-siblings, they've been dispensed with and disengaged from, as a consequence of the fact that they no longer serve a purpose. In effect, they're broken appliances. There has been legal action between Samantha Markle and the Duchess of Delusion, but no actual direct contact between the two. Thomas Markle, of course, has occasionally had a few things to say about his half-sister on his YouTube channel, but we haven't heard too much from Samantha Markle. But she's popped up again with... Information provided by Aditi Siravastava in Hindustan Times. As ever, I'll leave it up to you to determine the veracity of the information. But the headline is, This one's wife lied to my daughter. Half-sister accuses Duchess of misleading narrative about royal wedding. Well, what a surprise. A narcissist tells a lie. Who'd have thunk it? Now, of course, lies are not just the preserve of the narcissist. Every classification of person, empath, normal, narcissistic or narcissist, will tell some porky pies. But narcissists are notorious for telling lies because of their reliance upon the truth, the half-truth and nowhere near the truth as a means to manipulate. And avid scholars of my work ought to understand by now that with an unaware narcissist, the lies that they tell are their truth. Seeing the world through that distortion field of the need for control, their narcissism causes them to believe that certain events have happened in a way, a revision of history, when in actual fact they did not. Their perception of the world is altered by the narcissism to cause them to believe that they are the victim and you're the perpetrator, that you're the problem and they were trying to sort it out, that they're the nice person and you're the nasty person, that they're speaking the truth and therefore, when you don't accept it, you're the one that's telling lies. And of course, the truth-seeking empath regularly gets drawn into an argument in that regard as a consequence of the fact that you can't understand why, from your perspective, the majority perspective, the narcissist keeps on lying. Eventually, you understand it's because they're seeing the evidence differently to you. And they keep on going because they think you're the one that's telling the lie. And therefore, when you suggest to the narcissist that they are lying, you are threatening the narcissist's need for control. And that has to be nullified. And usually, the narcissist seeks to do that by turning around and saying to you, you're the liar. You're the one that's making things up. You're the one that's revising history. You're the narcissist, even in some instances. Thus, the narcissist-driven by that alternative view of reality coming through the distortion field will often tell lies even though they believe they are the truth. Let's find out what Samantha Markle is referring to. The relationship, the report tells us, between this one's wife and her half-sister, Samantha Markle, remains strained. Samantha is now publicly stating that this one's wife lied to her daughter about the royal wedding, portraying her in a negative light. After alleging in a tell-all interview that the Duchess misled the public about their relationship and childhood, Samantha reiterated these accusations during an interview with Channel 7 Sunrise on Friday. It was really surprising to hear that there was a narrative spun that made Ashley feel 
like she was not invited because of something having to do with me, the 59-year-old stated, referring to the Duchess of Sussex. In May 2018, this one's wife and Prince Harry married at St George's Chapel, Windsor Castle. This one's wife's mother, Doria Ragland, was the sole family member present at the ceremony. In 2023, Samantha revealed the Markle family surprised at not being invited. Initially, their father Thomas was invited to walk this one's wife down the aisle, but he suffered a heart attack just days before the wedding. Now, Samantha claims, I heard from a royal insider who knows that was up to up this one's wife, so this one's wife lied to my daughter, which made my daughter feel begrudging of me, she said in the interview. Samantha, a writer and screenwriter, has been critical of this one's wife since she began dating Prince Harry. The conflict grew when Samantha took legal action against this one's wife for making defamatory statements in an interview with Oprah Winfrey and the Netflix show. During these interviews, this one's wife referred to herself as the only child and hoped to have a sibling. Samantha's lawsuit challenged the accuracy of this one's wife's portrayal of their relationship and their father, stating that she lied so neither she, Samantha, nor their father, Thomas Markle, could not interfere with or contradict the false narrative and fairy life story she concocted. In a fresh accusation, Samantha claims this one's wife lied to her daughter, leading her to believe that their absence from the wedding was Samantha's fault. I can see how my daughter would have felt, torn between the two and then feeling perhaps like she couldn't go to the wedding because of me, she added. Samantha went on to claim, that is not true, that is a lie. I found out that the royals didn't say that. This one's wife said that. She then lied to my daughter and made my daughter feel like it was something wrong with me that prevented her from going to the wedding. Later, Hale, the daughter of Samantha, shared her pain in the documentary, grasping the reasons behind the situation and regretting its effect on the bond with this one's wife. She believes her opportunity to join something significant was unfairly stripped from her, causing her emotional distress. Well, it strikes all of me that this is really something that ought to have been moved on from. It's years ago, and it strikes me as a bit of attention-seeking going on here, nevertheless. However, is it a surprise to find that this one's wife may well have told a porky pie? No, it's not. Is it a surprise that this one's wife has engaged in some deception? No, it's not. It's a little strange that this is being mentioned now, albeit that's probably because Samantha Markle has only found out the information as of late and, suitably aggrieved, wants to make mention of this. This one's wife may be completely unaware of this interview. It might be the case that she doesn't take any interest in what her half-siblings have to say because she's disengaged from them. Instead, she's too busy being guest speaker on the New York Post below the line commentary. However, if this one's wife were aware of what was being said, of course, this would amount to challenge fuel. She's being spoken about, but the words that are being used challenge her need for control. It isn't the case that her narcissism will cause her to contact Samantha Markle and say, shut your mouth, you don't know what you're talking about, or I'll come round there and fight you. Her narcissism isn't going to deem that that's appropriate. Indeed, she might not necessarily have the means of contacting her half-sister, probably having deleted any numbers that she has as part of the disengagement. She might comment to Harry, have you seen this nonsense that lunatic's coming out with? And Harry returns from reaching underneath the sofa to find his pink building block to go, oh, yeah, good job that you didn't bother with her, Megsy. Complete lunatic, yeah. Or it may well be the case that she moves to the third assertion of control and just thinks that her half-sister is an ungrateful attention seeker that's out to make a quick buck on the back of her name and that she did the right thing in having nothing to do with her. Once again, her narcissism ensures that she nullifies the threat to control, but once again, this one's wife accused of lying, and it's not really a surprise. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.